Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and for this supermarket checkout, we are in Feasterville, Trevos, Pennsylvania, at the second Bell's Market location. Now, you may remember a previous visit to a Bell's Market I did at their Bustleton Ave location in Philadelphia. And uh, this one's going to be a little different. It's much bigger. And some of you in the Delaware Valley might be able to tell what this store originally started out as. Yep, it's a former Gennardi's built in 1998 on the site of a former food fair. And this was a Gennardi's from 98 until 2010 when it was sold to Giant Carlisle. This was back when Safeway was running and ruining Gennardi's. And this remained a Giant Carlisle until 2018 when they moved to a new location built on the site of a former Kmart just down the road here. That same year, after uh, a slight remodel, Bell's Market opened up. And we'll see uh, evidences, though, of the previous store as we walk in here. Obviously, they've uh, done some repainting, but the entrance still looks like a Gennardi's. Though we'll notice as I'm bending over to pick up my basket that uh, the uh, tile floor has been scraped off. And we're now down to polished concrete. And where the uh, cafe w would have been during the Gennardi's tenure is now a uh, expanded produce section. I've been driving for quite a bit, so uh, I had to um, uh, see a man about a horse. So, pardon me. Um, I won't be long, I promise you that. Just find where the boys' room is. Where the boys are. <laughs> All righty. Now, that uh, wood panel flooring there in that hallway seems like it was left over from the Gennardi's era. But uh, not much else is. As we walk through here, we'll notice the ceilings are still painted green from the uh, time that this was a Gennardi's. But it is evident that uh, Giant Carlisle did a whole lot of remodeling. The uh, bones of their um, mid-2010s remodels, or decor package, if you will, is still up here. And uh, only difference is uh, Bell's Market kind of uh, retooled the decor bit, kind of. Yeah, splash on some paint and some different pictures and wording. But overall, you can still see the giant Carlisle look to the place. I must say that this place had a greater um, selection than what I saw over at the Bustleton Ave location. I was trying to look for those uh, garlic dill pickles that uh, my parents liked, but unfortunately, that particular brand was not in stock on this particular day. So I did end up eventually picking some different uh, pickles. I didn't pick a pack of pickle peppers, but I did pick some different pickles. <laughs> I will say the one thing about the Russians that I agree with is that they do put a nice emphasis on a pickle bar and selection of pickles. So if you are a pickle aficionado, well, this will really uh, be a good deal for you. You might find that this will be your bread and butter. But Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I'm just... Uh, a little salty today. <laughs> oh, well. But don't get sour at all my puns. <laughs> but I must say, the selection here was amazing. Now, they are also supplied by IGA. So there was also a lot of uh, mainstream uh, supermarket staples here as well. But it was clearly... Uh, aimed more at the Russian and Eastern European crowd than, say, uh, your normal local supermarket. And uh, I must say, 
it was very interesting. If different cultures intrigue you, and you're interested in different types of food that uh, people from different countries uh, enjoy, then a store like this would be worth a visit for you, definitely. And on this channel, I like to bring to you supermarkets that uh, cater to different ethnicities and different communities. In fact, uh, after you've watched this one, why don't you uh, take a look on uh, my supermarket checkout playlist and you can uh, revisit or visit for the first time the Hong Kong supermarket in Philadelphia that caters to the Asian community. Or take a look at the uh, now closed forever seven day farmers market in Delaware that used to cater to the Hispanic community. By the way, that's now a car dealership, so we are definitely fortunate that we got there when we did. And now here in the dairy slash frozen section, and honestly, uh, there was something for everybody here. It was really, really interesting. And I had to take a look at the uh, um, neighborhood market sign there. As uh, Since this is a much larger store again than the Bustleton location, the addition of IGA-supplied foods and whatnot really round this out so that even if you aren't in the Russian or Eastern European community, you'll find something that uh, you need here as well. But uh, I wanted to check out the baked goods. You may remember I was uh, checking out the Bustleton Ann location and I did not get any bread or any baked goods there. Well, I'm going to rectify that. In fact, I'm not sure, but I think these cases were left over either from Giant Carlisle or from Gennardi's. They kind of remind me of the Safeway um, uh, cases that Acme has. And I'm looking through, and I made my decision. This uh, maybe that was a peach-filled tart of some sort. Oh, I forget exactly what it was, but um, I'm going to try it later on in this video when I'm out in the car. And you're going to want to uh, um, see my take on it. I, th I think you will uh, appreciate that. Well, here we have a literal aisle just jam-packed with pickles. And again, I'm looking for the brand of pickles that uh, I picked up that Mom and Dad liked the last time I had been to a Bell's Market. Alas, to no avail, it was not here. Eventually, I did try to find something similar, but they didn't try it. But perhaps now that uh, some new uh, things are happening in my life, I might be able to convince them to try them. Yes, um, I am sorry I haven't posted as of late, been quite busy throughout the month of September, and uh, I have some things in my life that have just recently happened. Nothing bad, nothing bad at all. In fact, some of you who follow me, uh, be it uh, you know, Facebook friends or uh, people I have worked with, you pretty much know the uh, the story of what's going on and um, so I will talk more about my recent um, uh, life changes if you will possibly the upcoming video I just want to sit down and talk with you guys just let you know what's going on in my life and how that affects the channel in a good way I think but for now, back to uh, the search for some pickles. And man, they have pickled everything. In Mother Russia, everyone is pickled. <laughs> nah, it's probably not true. But ooh, they got those uh, pickled tomatoes that uh, my mom picks up at ShopRite and puts uh, fries up with uh, 
some onions and pork chops. Oh, I love it when she makes that stuff. Uh, pork chops with tomato pickles. Ooh. The, uh, the meat literally just falls right off the bone. And it's best if you have some fresh rolls, you know, like some Kaiser rolls, and you can make a sandwich out of that. Ooh, it is good eating. Mm-mm. Well, again, the search for pickles. Yep, the, the fixation with pickles, folks. I'd be in a pickle if uh, it wasn't for you, though, folks. And uh, by the way, if you like what you see and you'd like to see more of this, well, please, like this video. Helps the algorithm. And while you're at it, if you have not subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And uh, ring the bell so you know when new content is dropping here on the channel. By the way, I also have a Redbubble store where you can find all kinds of interesting merch with unique designs created by yours truly, as well as items with the mugshot of a certain former United States president. The link is in the description, and this supports this channel and makes it possible for me to uh, afford gas and tolls. And now back to the video. And honestly, uh, the produce section seems to be roughly uh, as big, if not bigger, than the one at the Sicklerville Acme. I don't think that that one is getting remodeled yet, but I haven't uh, shopped there in quite a while. I'm going to take a look, see. I have uh, some uh, plans to show you Voorhees Acme's remodel, obviously. They went quality built. And I'm uh, going to give you my take on what I, th what I think of uh, the uh, remodeled store and the changes they've made. Also, Bell's Market is not the only Russian or Eastern European focused uh, supermarket uh, in Philadelphia. I have a, another store, another chain I want to talk to you about in some upcoming videos. And by the way, a little ADD moment over to my right that... Uh, service uh, meat counter there it looks to me or deli I should say it looks to me like that was put in by um bell's market i don't think that genardi's or giant carlo had anything like that in their stores but overall um even though i myself am not russian or any eastern european well okay i am part hungarian but i Usually I'm more towards uh, my Italian side when it comes to uh, my cooking, what I like to eat and whatnot and so forth. But if uh, I lived in the area, I would frequent this store. But now it's time for me to uh, leave and uh, go on to the next store. In fact, right after this, uh, I... Visit here in July, actually. I know it's October when I'm uh, uh, finishing up the editing here, but uh, I was here in July, and uh, right after going here, I visited the uh, giant that uh, replaced this. Uh, I kind of forgot that uh, outside of Philly, the rest of Pennsylvania, as far as I've seen, doesn't have a bag band, so I brought my bags with me, but didn't use them. <laughs> yeah, I like to get real bags whenever I do get a chance. Now, stay tuned after this portion of the video. I'm going to try that uh, pastry I purchased. But in the meantime, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Try the ethnic supermarkets in your area. You never know what you might find. And... Uh, with that, I'm going to walk out these Gennardi doors. Actually, on the green side here, which still looks original to Gennardi's. And I'm going to make my way to my car. See you there. Before we leave Bell's Market here in Feasterville, Trevos, I got this uh, homemade peach danish. Hmm, I've never tried their homemade baked goods before. Let's see... Huh? See what it looks like. Mm, looks really nice. Looks 
looks like uh, looks like homemade. Let's uh, give it a shot. See what it tastes like. Mm. I'm hit with the peach feeling right there. Mm. In Mother Russia, the bread slices you. <laughs> yes, this is very, very good. Honestly, I was not expecting that. Honestly, I'm... <laughs> I want to need some time alone with this thing, okay? So we're going to end this video right now. But again, folks, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Try the uh, independent and uh, ethnic grocery stores out there. You never know what you might find. Have a great day out there, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.